Now to await the next visitor. Who's that at the door? And just like clockwork. It's... I'm welcoming my dull offspring. Could actually be helpful. Shocking as that does sound. Tend to put on my patent and welcoming face. Dearest son and grandson, welcome. Salutations, Mama. And forgive us in this intrusion, but... Uh, oh, I beg your pardon, Mama. I wasn't expecting. Such a warm welcome, I know. I keep hearing that. Oh, yes, uh, right. Though it is appreciated, of course. Is it not, young man? <laughs> yes, Father. I'm sorry he tends to not pay attention. As you no doubt notice, he has much growing to do yet. Alright. No, no, as well, you need to be nice to the runt, too. He's a moron, but he may know something. I can't take any risks. Well, actually, don't sell him short, Isabella. I believe that young voluminous... Ah, uh, sorry. Voluminous. Uh, volum... Volumen. Volumnius. Volumnus. Um, Vol. Um, I believe that young Vol has qualities that we as adults should look past so easily. Such as... For starters, he still has a good head of hair. That's hardly... Ah, um, well, I shall talk with you, Mama. At any rate, well, we, maybe we come in and partake in some holiday cheer. Look at how cheery I am. I am so cheery, Mama. It would be my pleasure. Very good. Young man, what do we say when someone shows us kindness? Um. Uh, oh! <laughs> Thank you for that momentary recompense, most valued associate. Blah. Boy. No, that's not right. My apologies, Mama. You've been learning new terms, and, well, don't worry about it. Please, just come in. Right, right. Boy. Tell me, boy. Vol, well, would you like to help your grandmother out with something? Oh, okay. I have to touch you now. I can use my ability to see if there's something hidden behind that innocent expression. Maybe a secret, maybe a hidden intent, or something else entirely. God. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna... I suppose they all know about her ability, so that's a... reasonable sentence to say, out of... with no context. Knowing her. But... I just... <laughs> it, it... I... It, 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 Come up with a comparison as to the, uh, like, how amusingly <laughs> jarring that sentence is out of context. Think about, like, the 2018 God of War when uh, Kratos is talking to Mimir the first time they meet, and Mimir pulls him aside and has a emotional conversation about parenthood and whatnot. Kratos pauses for a moment and then uh, it's just uh, comes back with the I'm going to cut off your head. Right, right, well. <laughs> That's that kind of feeling. Okay, again, that, that sounds weird. Um, yes. But is it, so don't worry about it. Just close your eyes and trust your grandmother. Uh, okay. Let's see things for what they really are. I sense... A loneliness. Worry. A strong will to prove oneself and... Huh? Darkness, like a curtain call. What could that mean? Oh, no, it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to mean that. There's, are you predicting his? Did you just predict his death? There's no way of knowing how much time we have left. After all, my abilities aren't that precise. I. Is it over? Yes. You did well, though. You acted like a real hero. Oh, really? Thank you so much. I'm going to change the world, you'll see. Precious baby boy! <laughs> Love him! So you say. <laughs> Intense darkness. Hmm. Maybe we can ask you about your young, so maybe your keen senses have noticed something, things that I haven't. Maybe. 
have a calendar at home. Um, yeah? Do you cross days off as they end? Mother usually does. Do you ever wake up the next morning and the calendar is back to how it was the day before? I don't think so. Ah, useless. Though not unexpected. Have you seen any ladies dressed in white lately? Lots of times. Really? Where? In the hospital? At father's job? Oh, right. Doctors. I don't think some random doctor is behind this whole thing. But... Did I help? Not much. Oh. Hmm. Do you remember taking this photo? Uh, yes! It was a few days ago and we had pizza afterwards. We did. You had a Capricosa. Capri Capricios Capricioso? That does sound like me. Strange. Do you like these flowers in the corner? I guess. I think I like the purple ones more. Me too, grandson. Maybe this little brat has some redeeming qualities after all. After all, I can't fully despise someone who appreciates Larkspur. I'm purple with the, purple with the color of my favorite candy. Mm. Mm. Disappointing. <laughs> Never mind. Hmm? Alright, I have some questions for you. Like a test? I guess you could say that. My teachers always say that I test really well. Mm-hmm. Your parents, so where's your mother? She said she didn't want to come. Uh, oh no, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. My father will be angry with me. Don't worry, I won't tell him. Uh, thank you. You're nice, grandmother. Yes, well... Your father is an insufferable jerk, so I guess someone in the family has to make up for that. Though I suspect I may be to blame for many of his shortcomings. What do you mean? See, that was my thought from earlier. He's, uh... That, uh, she still acts this way. Even if the truth is what it is, she still acts this way. Feeling like she's too old and too late to change. And, uh... While still acknowledging that she did wrong by her son. Mm. Never mind. Okay. How's school? How are things going in school? Oh, um, my teachers say I'm doing well. But father, sa father says I need to try harder. He's right, you know. A lot of people trust papers more than they trust each other. If you have a solid proof of your worth, then bad men and women who won't be able to keep you down quite as easily. So if I have good grades? Yes, that would be solid proof. Then they have to acknowledge your excellence, even in all their shittiness. I understand now, Grandmother. That's really good advice. Try even harder in school from now on, I promise. Good. I doubt he'll amount to much, but at least he just learned a very good lesson. A lesson that got me to where I am today. <laughs> Whatever that's worth, I was gonna say. You want to hand me that gift now? Of course, Grandmother. Uh, wait. How did you know that we brought you a gift? I am... Ma magic Okay. I'll run out and get it for you. Here you go. Thank you. It's a terrible drink, but at least it's free. So I'll be damned if I'm not getting what I'm due. After all, it's a... Uh, hmm? Wait a moment. What is this? It's the... Uh, um... Gift? No, it's not. Oh, oh. Oh, something has changed. This is Eude Savidalia from 1986. An excellent year for it. A fantastic quality drink. It's not what you gave me last time. Uh, what? We haven't given you anything else, Grandmother. I don't understand. It's... Could I be mistaken? Did I get it wrong early? No, that's not possible. I'd never make a mistake like that. Drink from the earlier time Luke has changed to something better. There's no question about it. But how? And why? Grandmother? Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Thank you, again. That's a lovely gift. Uh, okay. <laughs> Curious. I received a bottle of Eude Savidalia from 1986, a magnificent drink, as opposed to its 1987 counterpart, which I received as a gift in an earlier loop. Either I've made a mistake or the details of the loop have suddenly changed. Don't make mistakes when it comes to booze. I'm very curious about heroes. So your father tells me you want to be a hero. Yes. 
Medical Man. If you could written a story about my favorite superhero, the Medical Man. Is that a real character? Uh, no, I made him up. So you're an author now, huh? Yes. Do you want to read it? Absolutely not. No, okay. There's no way I'd read that juvenile crap. Even fake kindness has its limits. Maybe I'll read it later. Really? Sure. Probably not, though. That's it for now. Okay. Alright. That's it for now, grandson. I'm glad to say that you haven't been completely useless. Thank you! Welcome. I hope for your sake that you aren't going through my drawers, grandson. Uh, oh, oh, I wasn't. I just like the material. It's so smooth. The material? As in regular wood? Y yes, it's very pleasant. Alright then. Such a weird child. Hmm. Say, Mama, I've always found these rugs quite appealing. You can't have them! You can where they will go once you uh, no longer need them. That's why she's thinking of them, because she's got Isha... Isha... Isha bastard here. Me when I'm dead. Oh. Hmm. I didn't think... I didn't, but surely. Or would you put me in a freaking home, boy? That is to say, yeah. When I'm dead, I'm dead. And knowing me, I'll probably be happier that way. Mama. Do whatever you want with my belongings. I don't care. Very good, then. Thank you, Mama. Can I have a twit? Sorry, that conversation about the the drawers with with Vol there is still stuck in my mind. Hmm. Back to you, Locksburg. Add more qualities. So the note. Still the same. What that shadow is still out there? I never looked at the jar. Finding that jar interesting, are we? It's pretty. It really isn't all that spectacular. I like it. Hmm. I suppose an admiration for that mundane is your birthright if your father's taste in women is any indication. Hmm. I don't understand. You weren't supposed to. Yep, cruel world. Your taste in art is second to none, Mama. Truly, those masterful landscape strokes by the one and only R.T., whoever that mysterious person may be, they certainly evoke a feeling that imperfectly encompasses and encapsulates the painting's title, Wonderful World. Yes, well, it's quite striking, I must admit. However... What'd you say the painting's title was? Wonderful World, of course. Oh, I'd never forget a title as memorable as that one. But it's not called that. It says Cruel World right here. Right, that's... That is what I meant, of course. You know me, antonyms were never my forte. In fact, I doubt those words are even antonyms at all. Mm, how very strange. Are you quite finished? Well, um, yes. He's a bumbling buffoon, but he does know his way around art. Is it possible that he got the name wrong, even when he was so sure about it? I'll just keep that back my mind for now. my loving husband. Seems to be in good health. Uh, I don't like the status. I don't like the. I don't like that we're getting a status update on the sink foil now. I don't like that whatsoever. That's a terrible sign. Uh oh. But yeah, Vol taking is such an interest in the feel of the dresser, in the drawers. For some reason, it makes me feel like he's very much is on the autism spectrum to some degree. Because I know just the 
effect that uh, again, I'm in no way qualified to speak on the matter, but one factoid that I'm pretty familiar with that I recall well enough being that uh, the tactile sense and that tactile feeling of certain things really or at least Tactile interest, I suppose. That's that's the part that stood out to me there. Hey, Shabella, it's time for you to be useful. Oh, uh, yes. I didn't say. Um, really? If it pleases you, Mama. I'm going to touch you now. <laughs> I'm going to touch you now, Isabella. <laughs> you are going to use that, I take it. Correct. I understand. Good. Close your eyes and count to ten in any given language or alphabet. I shall do so in early Cyrillic. You don't have to announce your choice. <laughs> now hold still. <sighs> I sense... anxiety. Pride. And a major inferiority complex. Absolutely no surprises there. We're done. Already. Yes. You pride myself on my efficiency. I know. I need, you put, I need you to put your intellect to use, as limited as it may be. Of course, Mama. Cruel World. What should the name of that painting was again? Cruel World, of course. I'm still ashamed that I colored war wrong earlier, not once, but twice. Unforgivable, really. Almost. There's just something strange about this, I can feel it. Which year was that better for you, De Savadalia? 1986 or 1987? It's a serious question, Mama. It's so obviously 1986. It would take a special kind of uncultured individual not to not know that. Indeed. Would you say that buying the wrong bottle is an easy mistake to make? Hardly. Each edition is uniquely, is uniquely labeled, colored, and shaped in such a way that only a blind person or a truly ignorant one will confuse the 1986 bottle with its 1987 counterpart. But again, you already know all this, don't you? Yes, I do. But just as I thought. Where was this photo taken? In Castle Lake Manor, just last week. So I went all the way to your home just a few days ago. Yes. We were all quite surprised that you were willing to make the journey. It doesn't sound like me at all. I agree, Mama. The mystery of the photo seems no closer to being solved. Hmm. You wear the sink foils, many special properties. I believe I've heard about some of them, yes. From whom? Oh, I believe it... And Pagonia talked to me about them some time ago. I really don't remember clearly. Why would she talk to you about flowers? I have no idea, Mama. Damn that Pagonia. You bitch. Have you seen any women dressed in white lately? Outside of darkness at work, I mean. What a strange and random question, Mama. Then inquire as to why you would want to know that. You may not. That's terribly suspicious. You're losing it, Master Beth. Fine, I'll tell you. I was hoping to buy something for your wife, and I think white may have been a good color for her. So you're looking for inspiration? Yes. That's... wonderful. Mama fills my soul with such joy that you've decided to get closer to your family. I almost feel bad for lying about this. However, I cannot aid you in this matter. I've rarely even noticed the clothes that people wear, so I'm not the right person to ask. However, the sentiment is greatly appreciated. All right, then. What a waste of a good lie. You may as well ask about the date. My calendar is behaving quite strangely. Oh. Mm. Yes. Mm. Have you tried keeping it up to date? What are you just keeping track of time if you don't, well, track it? Yes, yes, I know it is in August. That's not the problem, though. Honestly, Mama, if you are so intent on lagging behind, you should at least cross days off within the same month. Sorry for the pause. I was just curious if the, uh... There's some significance to August, and this case is entirely unchanged from our last visit, after all. Why you? Our last visit? When was that exactly? Oh. Oh, right. One year ago, the previous holiday season. We should visit more often. You really should not. More importantly, I didn't have a calendar last year. 
Which is not making any sense right now, Isabello. Isabello. Well, that's I'm sure you're mistaken. We've always had a calendar, Mama. Losing some memories here and there is nothing to be ashamed of in your old age. This incessant son of mine. Could he be right about this? Did I have a calendar last year or not? I'm certain I didn't. At this point, can my memories truly be trusted? Hmm. Let's talk about things the way we did when you the way we did when you were a child. Thoroughly and matter of factly? Precisely. Have you spent much time with Charter lately? Oh yes, well, uh, I suppose that comes down to your definition of much. Let's see with the definition of more than with your mother. Oh, yes, a fair bit, I'd say. Really now. The kind of you wishing for privacy and papa being, well, how does one say, and by which I mean matter of factly, kinder, warmer, more pleasant. Luminous really loves his grandfather. He, uh, papa is very good with him. In a way that I, or you, he is a lovely man. We can both learn from him, I believe. No offense intended, of course, Mama. In this instance, he is correct. St. Castrake Hospital is flourishing, I hear. Oh, uh, yes. We have a committed staff of medical professionals with respect, which respect firm leadership. Success was inevitable, really. So the family business has reached has reached all new heights under your firm leadership, then. Genius as you are, I didn't mean. Might not be quite as product as I make you out to be, but never forget how much was handed to you. Money, opportunity, education. You being a you being a success is not something to be celebrated. It is the bare minimum. In fact, you could have been so much more. What more could I possibly? Silence! Don't you dare talk back to your mother. You'll be success just as fast as you gained it. Jeez, do you understand? Yes, Mama. You do know that you do know that your wife's a gold digger, right? Well, you have been quite vocal in that belief, Mama. Belief is it? The only thing that's keeping her and that little twerp around is your no my money. Tell Ramsey that you're broke and she'll be out of Castle Lake Manor tomorrow. Happy to hear you use her name, Emma. However, and it may be that I've never told you this, when she and I met, I intentionally hid my economic privileges from her in order to avoid a gold digger situation as you refer to it. Perhaps I'm not quite as disappointing as you. You absolute moron. Do you really believe you had her food? Castellake family is famous. She obviously found out somehow, and if she didn't already know when she saw your vacant face for the first time, there's no other possible reason why someone would want. Shh. Why someone would want what, Mama? Let's talk about something else. Why someone would want to fall. want to marry someone in our family? Does your son hate studying as much as you did? I didn't hate- Oh, come now. You used to throw the books at your and you in a futile act of rebellion. I'd call it cute were it not for the fact that your petty tantrums often broke family valuables. What do you want me to say, Mama? I don't know. I find myself curious, I suppose. He loves it. It took time for me to learn the value of studying and the ways in which it can elevate both your mind and societal status. For him, however, it's more about fun. Which is why you're trying to keep him in line. You can't have too much fun, I assume. Do you disapprove? I didn't say that. Very good then, Mama. Hmm. This is his father. It's no wonder that uh, they were threatening to cut him out over... someone not of the right standing that he would expect. My abilities frighten you, do they not? 
be wisely wary of that which you do not understand. It's wiser still to try understanding it. How could I possibly when you barely understand it yourself, Mama? You're not wrong. Growing up, they called me the son of a witch. It was terrible. I'm sure having a nice home filled with everything you could have ever wished for helped ease the pain. But that's neither here nor there. Would you look at that? Even my own son fears me. Oh, grand. I do not fear you, you, Mama. But your abilities, as you call them, they are part of me. It's like I'm part of you. You may despise me behind locked doors, as I'm sure you do, but remember that everything that's good in your life also came from me. I know that, Mama. Good. Don't you dare forget it. Hmm. Enough talking for now. I understand, Mama. Not enough of that. You may resume doing nothing. Very well, Mama. Hmm. Can I ask you about this? Do you like my painting? Yes, but it makes me a bit sad. Oh, so? The outdoors is so pretty, but there's no people around to enjoy it. So it's like there's no life in it. That's a profound observation, grandson. Uh, thank you. I don't know what, I don't know, I, I don't know what profound means. It means you're using your brain for once. Oh! Yay! <laughs> are you absolutely sure that there's another bottle left in the car which says, I don't know, 1987 instead of 1986? Yes! It double-checked and triple-checked. I see. Seems quite certain. All right. Never mind. She can't fully bring herself to be mean to fall in this in, in this instance. She can be all of the mean to her son, though. God damn, that was some harsh conversation we had here. Throw out the trash. You may leave now. Now then, kindly leave and don't come back. Mama. I mean, um... Do not come back until the next time you're back. Or something. Father, what is Grandmother saying? She's trying to tell us to leave. But she's being weird. It's the best she can do for. Do you worry that I can still hear you, you utter fools? Oh, right. That's... Bye. That done. Next should be... Ah, my dear husband. I'll always make time for him, at least a little. Good day, my love. Jata. Keep forgetting how handsome he is. She's right, she should say it. Damn it, I feel like a schoolgirl all, all over again when he looks at me like that. Get your shit together, you old hag. You have a mystery to solve. You don't have the time to enjoy things, nor do you deserve to. Ezra, you seem distracted. Oh, it's... it's nothing. I've just missed... You've missed? Yes, missed... out. Missed out on buying food. That's what I meant to say, there's, no, there's no food here. Phew! Oh, please, have a seat by the table. I'll pour us something to drink. That sounds lovely. I must say, you have a vibrant energy about you today. It is quite endearing. <laughs> uh, thank. Thank you. Now, sit down. Oh, I shall, believe me. I walked all the way here, so my legs are quite sore. Even hearing about his sore legs is somehow interesting, and he really is my weakness. I need to find out if he knows anything. God, this man! This man! Alright, let's talk. <laughs> and where? Oh, we couldn't actually look at the jar normally until Vol was here. Does this old thing still come in handy when the sun arrives? I keep forgetting I'm supposed to use it for that. It mostly just, well, lies around. It's quite easy on the eyes. I don't blame you for allowing it to simply spruce up the place. Never heard you use the word spruce before. Huh. Our grandson tells me that I sometimes sound like an old tree when I talk. His words, not mine. In the interest of staying hip, as it were, I've decided to add some new words to my vocabulary. I see. Spruce is among the new words because of the wordplay, I assume. Hmm? Old tree. Tree. Spruce. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Would you believe I didn't realize that until just now? Oh my, that is rich. 
Damn, I can't believe I thought for pun before you did. You must be getting old. Hm, quite. But damn, I don't like when you use filthy words, my love. Oh no. You are above that. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. Shit, 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 shit. That's right. Just getting out of my system. Fair enough. <laughs> That wreath seems very unlike you, my love. It does. So why not take it down, then? Well, maybe it's me trying to be festive. Fighting my inner demons and all that. Why I fight when you can embrace? Are you saying I should be thankful for my issues? I'm saying that not, maybe not all of your perceived demons are things you need to change. Some of them are just you. That's a nice sentiment, Jata. But I don't know... Let's just say I'm too lazy to take it down. Let's do that, then. Your home, your rules, my love. I can't help but notice the fact that you keep staring out the window. Are you looking for something? Oh, no, I... It's stupid, but I thought I saw someone out there the other night. Is that so? An intruder, perhaps? Shall I call the police? No, nothing like that, just... Don't worry about it, it's probably just my mind doing what it does best. Acting up, seeing ghosts. Wouldn't be the first time, right? Ezra, it's a non-issue, really. Just move past it. Very well. But if you change your mind... I know, Jata. I know. Real world. Good health, still very good. Charter, let's talk for a while. Nothing would please me more, my love. I'm going to touch you now. I'm going to touch you now, husband. As we are weird, I don't believe an announcement of such a thing is really necessary. All right, but I meant... I know. I'm just lightening the mood a bit. Do what you have to do. If you believe it is somehow helpful, then I shall oblige. Thank you for understanding. Hmm. Sense. Love. Empathy. Loyalty. But what's this? An intense brightness blinding me with pure white. Never seen that before. What could it mean? It can't be anything bad, can it? No, there's simply no way. Did you find what you were looking for? I am... Um, wasn't searching for anything particular. You weren't. It's awfully cruel, if so. Seeing as the experience is hardly pleasant for the recipient. Really? You're right. I'm sorry. No matter, it's over and done with now. Shall we get back to talking? Yes, let's do that. I'm sorry, Charta, for being such a nuisance. Hmm. Boy. Bright light, a phenomenon I haven't seen before. Which what it means, I choose to believe that it's something good. Alright. Can you use that beautiful mind of yours to help me make sense of a few things? I flatter a man like that, and he won't he's want to do anything, you ask. I, of course, am no exception. Charter, would you say that I'm often imagining things? Hmm. Forgetting things, yes, but imagining them. Occasionally, perhaps. So if I were to tell you that I feel like this day keeps repeating itself, what would you say? I'd have assumed you aren't speaking metaphorically. No. Well, my love, in this world there are a few constants. One of them is the fact that no matter how much we may sometimes desire it, time cannot be turned back. Therefore, it is simply impossible for a day to repeat itself. That's so why, if you ask me, we must make the most of what we have, here and now. Right. Not the answer you are hoping for, I take it. Makes sense that no one would have any sort of rational reason to, like, take this claim seriously. Well, yes and no, I suppose. I see. Have you seen someone dressed in white recently? Hmm. Oh, that's... No. I have not. 
It seemed very sure. Mm, yes, there wasn't much thinking needed. White is the color that sticks out to me. Not being a fact, I was quickly able to surmise that I haven't seen a woman matching that description as of late. Never said it was a woman. I believe you did, my love. Did, did I? Let's check the logs and find out. You did not. Now, was there anything else? Hmm. What are your thoughts on Cruel World, husband? Why, it's a spectacular painting, that's for sure. It's a proper shame that we will never find out who its mysterious painter truly was. So much potential lost. It is beautiful indeed. I'm glad that you agree, my love. Do enjoy you, De Savadalia, Ishata. You don't remember, my love. It's one of my favorites. We used to drink it together all the time when we were younger. Ah. I can't remember us sharing it, Charta. I'm sorry. That's not your fault, Esper. It's for the best, anyway. The 1986 vintage was discontinued long ago, and that was by far the most prolific year for it. Discontinued? Is it impossible to get today? Perhaps not impossible, but definitely improbable. I see. Many things aren't lining up with this. Hmm. 1987 being the cheap knockoff. 1986 being the good year for it. I look so happy in that family photo. Is that a bad thing? It's an odd thing. Maybe it was a special day. Apparently not special enough for me to remember it. Ah. At least it came out looking good. Did it not? Sometimes the reason why isn't as important as enjoying the results. More shot of wisdom at play, I hear. Always, my love. Fair enough. Now it appears that I should have thanked Begonia, not you, for the sink foil. Oh, hmm. You found out about that, did you? Yes, she told me. My apologies, Esper, I did not mean to fool you. Of her idea was so inspired. I truly wanted you to enjoy that gift at any cost. If they were given to you by her, then... Yes, yes, I know. I'd turn them into mulch. Appreciate the thought, I suppose. Just don't... Don't lie to me again. I promise. Hmm. Pleasure's all mine, my love. All right. Oh, okay. There were some things I wanted to bring up with you. Oh, pre 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 I read that as a stammer for some reason. No, it's just pre-prepared topics of discussion. I'm quite enjoying this already. Do you regret marrying your way into this terrible family? A terrible? Hardly. Being a Casareke has been the highlight of my life. A sad excuse for a life, then. As well, I believe that uh, life, to a large degree, is what you make of it. The things you experienced in your childhood and early adulthood were regrettable, to say the least. But now we're here, the two of us, and we have this strange but loving family surrounding us. You are the perfect man, Shanta. But when it comes to this, we will never see eye to eye. You're the most important person in the world to me. However, the rest of them, they can burn for all I care. Well, it's their fault that I can't be around people for longer periods of time than even you, as sublime as you are to me. The feelings are too strong, and the shaking and the sweating, the... You needn't explain, my love. Hmm. That sense is very much lingering trauma from lingering trauma from high school, which led to her being hospitalized and Extensively, permanently, as it to say crippled, but permanently disabled to some degree. You see, so there's physical, lingering physical, 
matters at play. Still bothering her. And the lingering mental trauma of it all, too. Still very much at play. Big time at play. Your feelings for your family are understandably complex and no one, least of all me, would never dream of holding that against you. Sometimes the only way forward is to let things go. I've heard that a million times, I know. And if you choose not to listen, that is your prerogative. My feelings for you won't change, ever. It's really advice from a husband to his wife. Right, I appreciate it. It is good to hear. Would you realize that you wanted me and not my sister? This again, my love. I found myself needing to hear some reassuring words. I'm having a hard time with myself right now, and when talking to her, I can't shake the feeling that the two of you have so much more in common than you and I. So if you don't mind. Very well. Your sister is a lovely woman. Not off to a great start. Now, now, be patient. She is a lovely woman, but... Yes, she isn't you. That's it! Yes. What more needs to be said? M maybe uh, some details? How about this detail? I love you. Hmm. Fine. Huh. You could argue that there's some degree of sus suspicion to be had about the fact that, uh, can't name one quality about me that drew you to me, but again, can also agree with the fact that uh, from my man Charter here, just what more do I need to say? I married you. I love you. You are the love of my life. That is it. I know the way I treat others is quite shit. I thought you didn't like filthy words. It was meant to emulate you, my love. And yes, it's true, your Tobina is, well, it is what it is, I suppose. Aren't you ashamed of me? There are times when I wish you'd be kinder to those who show kindness to you. And at the same time, no one understands you like I do. I've been by your side all this time, and I've seen every part of you. As such, I know that there's much good in your heart. However deep, one must sometimes delve to find it. Right. You're the only person that's ever that's easy for me to be nice to. Everyone else just reminds me of things. Bad things. Magonia I can understand, but this contempt for our son and grandson, it's a fair bit harder for me to grasp. Cause it's this is a case of you reminds you too much of your parents. I don't fully understand it myself. The way I feel about them is it's like there's nothing there. Like they aren't ours. But mine. I see. Mmm. Mmm. That certainly explains a lot. I know that's a horrible thing to think or say, but that's how I feel. Perhaps we should steer the dialogue elsewhere. That's probably for the best, yes. Deep down, she's aware that that's a problem. That's a, like, logical inconsistency between this reality and her memories. And it's manifesting as this bitterness. It pains me that I can't remember our wedding, and I should recall it for you, my love. It's a grand ceremony with a large number of attendees, which the audience may, I should add. That sounds about right. The Casarenike family was bigger then, with my men many relatives there as well. Suffice to say, it was not a cheap affair. Isha wasn't much older than Vol is now when he carried our rings up the aisle. He did that, didn't he? Yes. Wish you could remember it, Ezra. It's truly a day to remember, as they say. I suppose that's the settle for all the bad memories that my mind has chosen to keep in place of the good ones. Cheer up, my love. Smiles always suited you better. And why did you remember? Then why did you marry a woman who almost never smiles? Because when a smile does eventually appear, it's always worth it. Damn it. <laughs> I win again. God, I love this man. I know me isolating myself out of here has been tough on you. I won't lie, but in otherwise. 
would know that I really tried, but it was just too much. Knowing what I know now, I'm impressed that you stayed with us for as long as you did. I managed to send Isho off to medical school before you left, so not having to raise him on my own was a huge relief. I can't take much credit for raising him regardless. I mean, I can barely remember his childhood except for some spare traumatic parts. Right. But you did your best, my love. In the end, isn't that all isn't that all we as humans can do? Perhaps so. He turned out well enough, didn't he? Yes. Yes, he did. If I had charged him around more, maybe I wouldn't be so angry all the time. I just can't handle it. The way my body and mind shuts down when others get too close when I spend too much time in their vicinity. That's the curse I carry for my younger days. Great, now my damn mind is spewing poetic shit. Thanks a lot, husband. Seems I, forgot, seems I forgot what I was going to say. If it was important, it will come back to you eventually. I find that to be a reassuring mantra when I lose my train of thought. A lot of words. Oh, now that's a dreadful thing to consider. Believe that your words are but temporarily resting so as to return later. Beautiful, but also pure nonsense. Poetry, my love. Poetry. In purgatory. Alright, you've... Lovely, lovely man. Let's rock. We would love to do and restart the time loop. Time to move on. What is it, my love? You have to leave now, Chandra. I see. You're certain that's what you want? Yes. Very well. But as always, I shall be but one phone call away. Thank you. Have a lovely night, Ezra. You too. I guess that's that. She has such... Ah, there, there were always the hints of this lovely sign to her underneath all this outward defensiveness. I guess that's that. I've been interrogated, but have I learned anything? It can help me out once time resets. So I should try talking to everyone again, as annoying as that prospect is. Hmm. And the important may have missed can still be discovered in future loops. Have I missed anything? It's time to sleep then, but... Oh. My head hurts again. What's that mean? Oh. You're back? Figures. This horrible place. Why do I keep seeing it? Stop what you're doing, Elizabeth. For your own good. Stop trying to find me. You will only find misery. Stay right where you are. Stay happy. Happy? You can seriously believe that I'm... This is the happiest you'll ever be. Stop what you're doing. This is your final warning. You. You. Wait. Stop trying to find me. You're the lady in white. Hey, bitch. I'm talking to you. And you better not ignore. Oh, bollocks. Residence of, the residence of Elizabeth Casareke, heiress to a vast fortune, sister, wife, mother, grandmother, and recluse by choice. Here we go again. Mr. Dearest, Magonia, please come in. Don't mind if I do? So. Oh, 
So we don't have anything new to talk about. You can still ask you about cool world. Do you like this painting, sister? I do. I should burn it then. That seems excessive. As far as I know, this is the only surviving painting drawn by the legendary RT. I'd be ashamed to get rid of it for such petty reasons. I'm petty to you, maybe. Do you know anything else about this RT? Not much. And curiously, no one has ever seen them in the flesh, leading many to believe that RT might not be a particular individual, but rather someone's pseudonym. Historically, with such occurrences, though, it was often possible to figure out whose alter ego it was based on the technique on, the, on display in the artwork. With RT, however, it's very unique. Otherworldly, in a sense. Is there no one, no, no one, nothing else known about them? Was, well, there was one other account of the matter, but it's dubious at best. Go on. A young girl who claimed to be an apprentice of RT stated that she lost her sight when seeing their clothes. Okay. Really ugly clothes, then. I take it. Quite the contrary. According to this young girl, RT was dressed in glowing white, beautiful beyond the limits of human understanding. She got blinded by white clothes. That's the power of Tide with OxyClean. And died shortly after, too. If the story's to be believed, wow, that's some powerful detergent. How convenient. Sounds like pure bullshit made up by someone in desperate need of attention. That's what the general public thought as well, for obvious reasons. And so ends the mystery of RT, never to be solved. Great. Thanks for nothing, then. What a note that warned me about a lady dressed in white. Have you seen someone like that? Where did you find this note? On that table over there. That note just says that you need to buy alcohol. It was a different note. Remember that same notepad? Yes. But, the, but it's the top page. You changed back, you damn moron. What? Ugh. Never mind. Just tell me if you find someone dressed in white, all right? Preferably before the day ends. I will, dear sister. You're quite the drunk, aren't you? I had a drinking problem, yes. Painful as it is to look back on, I bet. As so I would you drink a 1987 vintage Ute Savdalia when you were at your worst? That toxic rubbish! I must shamefully admit that I probably would, yes. You were that far gone, dear sister. <laughs> she says, smiling. Yes. Does that amuse you? Greatly. Damn. Alright, stand around. Let's see if there's anything new to interact with. Before we send her on the way. Still in good health. Alright, Begonia. Throw out the trash. I could leave Begonia. Oh, I'm, I see. Get out of here already. Just like clockwork. Dear son and grandson, welcome. Please come in. Salutations, Mama. Let it be known that we truly appreciate your grand hospitality. Thank you. Ah. All right. My grandson seems taken with this for some reason. Boy. Okay. Time for, you, time for you to be useful. All right. You may resume doing nothing. Kind of leave and don't look, come back. Mama? 
I mean, uh, come back to this time you're back or something. Alright, time to go. Alright, next should be... My dear husband. Good day, my love. Charter. Please come in. I do believe I shall. Alright. Let's talk for a while. Gonia told me an amusing story about R.T., the painter of Cruel World. Is that so? Apparently an apprentice of theirs was blinded with beholding their white dress. Oh, yes, I believe I heard this story. Her dress must have been immaculate indeed to cause such a reaction. Her dress? Hmm. Oh, must have stumbled on my words. Suppose in my ancient mind only women can wear something that's referred to as a dress. Not very hip of me, I shamefully admit. Thus I must have subconsciously drawn the conclusion that R.T. is female. I see. Charter, are you hiding something from me? If so, what could it possibly be? In the context of that one conversation, yeah, that is a reasonable conclusion to draw. No, he would never. That R.T. is female, that is, not him. There's no way. Oh, he, he did see a flash of... Why? Oh, we can draw a conclusion. Yes, my love. You've been lying to me. 